Hello guys, I hope you're all doing really well. This is Allure Cosplay and today we're going to talk about the new cosplay sensation, which is foam clay. Okay, after this dramatical entrance, let's talk about foam clay. So if you can't tell by the name, um, this product acts like a clay and when it dries, it also acts like a foam, which is great. I actually got this tub from the um, Are the Wig booth at Anime North in Canada. However, you can also get it from the Are the Wigs Canada shop. Uh, I'm guessing you can get it from their regular non-Canada shops as well. However, uh, that was the pamphlet that I was given, so that's where I know where to get it since I live in Canada. So this foam is actually really lightweight already. This whole tub weighs like very, very little next to nothing. Uh, once you sculpt with this clay, you leave it for, I'd say, 48 um, hours and it turns into kind of like a EVA foam. Here's a piece that I actually already tried this on. Um, at the store, this actually came in three different colors. It comes in white, gray, and black. Um, that's kind of up to your preference. The color makes no difference to the actual foam. Um, I mean, if you are going with a dark armor, you might want to maybe get the black one so it's easier to paint. If you're going with a light armor, you might want to get the white one since that would be easier for you to paint. Um, I chose the white one just so that I can see where I'm making mistakes and things like that. Uh, I'm sure that you can also see those with gray or black though. So this is actually a costume that Camwe Cosplay is working on and she made all these little spikes out of the foam clay we are talking about. However, she just used the black stuff. Um, it does uh, say over here that the larger the piece, um, the, it, uh, the, the longer it will take to dry. And uh, the pieces don't need to be fully cured to be painted, but they do need to be fully cured to be sanded. So, so far I have not tried to paint or sand this. Um, it also says on the pamphlet that it could be heat formable. I have not tried that. However, if it acts like a normal EVA foam, then that will totally be possible. I even think that if you're using a soldering iron, you can also do like details just like you can EVA foam. However, I still haven't tried that yet. And once I do, I will let you know if it's possible. So this is my Mecha Queen breastplate. The reason why I brought it out is because I wanted to show you that I usually use caulking or some kind of a silicone to fill different gaps between like actual foam pieces. However, it does say that you can totally use the foam clay as a kind of a filler just like you can with the silicone or with a caulking filler. Now, aside from sculpting, um, something that really intrigued me was casting with this foam clay. Uh, when I actually went to the booth, um, they had a bunch of little examples of things that um, they had been using foam clay with. And they had some casted uh, stuff out of foam. And that really, really intrigued me because um, things like, for example, gems that your costume may be covered in, um, you can make very easily and very fast. And... Uh, here is actually a few gems that I just kind of made out of here. This is actually the first thing I did once I got this clay as I came home. I dug this out because I don't remember where I bought it from. And I just stuck some foamy bits right in there just because I wanted to see um, if how, how it was going to turn out. And you know what? They turned out pretty well. All I'd have to do is cut around the excess material and I can make a lot of these and I can paint them and stick them all over my costume. They're very very lightweight so they're not gonna add any weight to your awesome costume. Now that way you can obviously get the same kind of a shape every single time. Uh, your gems will be a lot more consistent uh, and you can use it with any kind of mold that you want really. So here is the foam clay opened up. I obviously keep it uh, sealed tight uh, so that this stuff doesn't air dry uh, because I haven't done anything with it, obviously. The container is actually resealable very well so no air can get inside it once you seal it really well. This is kind of the consistency of the foam. It is very lightweight and it's very flexible right now. Um, once you actually... Um, 
make whatever shape you want. You just leave it alone and um, give it some time. The Depending on the piece, like if, if you're making big spikes like Kami Cosplay, you might need to wait, you know, more than a few days for it to dry. For those little um, foamy bits, I found that um, they could take like 24 hours, but I left them for 48 hours because um, once they're flipped like this, here, let me show you. So once they're flipped like this, um, this top part will dry because it's exposed to the air. However, the bottom part has not dried because it is not exposed to the air. So I found that the bottom part where like the actual detailing is takes a little bit longer to dry. So that's why I do recommend that you actually do give it the full 48 hours to dry. Uh, and another helpful tip that actually um, one of the people from Art of Wigs told me about was that um, if you want your piece to pop out really nicely from um, silicone forms like this, uh, you can just powder them with some uh, baby powder before you actually put your foam in and that will definitely make it come out a lot easier. I do recommend that you wash your hands before you start using this stuff, especially if you got the white stuff because all the dirt from your fingers or paint or whatever else you have will transfer onto your clay. So, I mean, if you're going to paint it, I guess it doesn't matter. However, if you decide to not paint it, it does matter. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, listening to me rant about the brand new foam clay. Once I actually tried um, painting it, heat shaping it, um, sanding it, and maybe even... Um, burning details into it, I will probably make another video to let you know how that went. Until then, bye bye!